Hi, Elementary D. Today is Monday, April 27, 2020, and there's Miss Lucy in her little burrito blanket, okay? Now, I want to say that I'm still reading all of your um, chapters, all the missing chapter project, um, and I love seeing your work, your title on a Word document, your three paragraphs, beginning, middle, and end. I'm ready to put your paper and put it inside of my super fudge book and um, have chapter 10. So remember, you have until Monday, May 4th. Make sure to use the time to edit your work, okay? Um, and now we are gonna be starting a new unit, okay? So our goal, our new goal is I can use context clues to identify new words. So we're still, uh, context clues, we know how to use it, um, but we're gonna be in this unit, we're gonna be working more on writing, more on reading, a little bit on grammar, okay? Getting ready for middles. All right, so context clues. Remember, context clues is something that good readers use to find what could the word mean. So we can use pictures to help us understand a word that we don't know. Uh, we can use other words, like um, around the word that we want to know. Words that you do know, examples or definitions, punctuation can help you and synonyms and antonyms, okay? we If we don't know a word, it's okay. We can look at what's around the word to see if we know what the word could mean, okay? So here's some vocabulary that we need to know for chapter 11. We have hockey, it's on page 148 in Superfudge. Catastrophe, 150. Balling, 151 crash landing 151, and mastered 152. This is all the vocabulary for chapter 11. Okay, we have five words. So let's look at it. So let's practice our context clues. Number one, that's not what hockey is all about, Dad argued. It's a game of skill, of timing, of precision. Okay, so I don't know what hockey is, but Dad says it's a game. Okay, so that tells me that hockey is a game. I don't know what hockey is, but if I keep reading, I know that hockey is a game. It's a game that has skill, it has timing, and it has precision, okay? So that's what, ha what you should do when you're reading and you don't know a word. Read around and see if you can find what the word could mean, okay? Number two, Tootsie's first birthday could go down as a real catastrophe, I said. Okay, now this one doesn't tell me much. It says the first birthday party could be a catastrophe. But if I read what happened before in chapter 11, I would know that catastrophe is not something good. It's something horrible, okay? Number three, but if she caught one of us looking at her, she'd start bawling and wouldn't stop until she got an arrowroot cookie. Um, oh, I don't know why that's there. <laughs> okay, so in this part here, um, we don't know what it is, but if she would start bawling, I wonder what bawling is, but she wouldn't stop bawling until she got a cookie. So it might, it can't be something good. Well, I know little kids, maybe they are crying and they won't stop until they get a cookie. So bawling could be crying. Number four, but pretty soon she was toddling all over the place. Sometimes she'd crash land and Tootsie wasn't the only one crash landing. Fudge was learning to ride his bicycle. So I don't know what crash landing is, but Fudge is learning to ride his bicycle. And if you're riding your bicycle, maybe you might fall. Um, and she was toddling, moving all over the place. Sometimes she might crash land. So I think crash landing means to fall down, okay? Number five, finally, toward the end of April, mom and dad decided that Fudge had mastered the art of bike riding well enough to ride to school with Daniel. Okay, I don't know what mastered is, but mom and dad think that he has mastered bike riding well to ride enough to ride to school. So I think mastered means to learn something so well to become an expert, okay? So you see, sometimes we don't know the words, but we can read around and see if anything gives us clues to see what the word could be. Okay, so for classwork today, I want you to select one vocabulary word. We have five, hockey, catastrophe, bawling, 
crash landing and mastered. We have five. I only want you to pick one. Select one vocabulary word and complete a four square. Now we've done four squares in, in school, okay? Take a picture of your work and submit it on Class Dojo. So in your notebook, you can make it. You do not have to print. You can make it and categorize it. Remember that means, is it a noun? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective, okay? Define it. This you might have to look on the computer or you can try to define it by yourself, right? You can look at what hockey is. Oh, I know what hockey is. So you can define it by yourself, okay? Use your own words. If you look in a dictionary, please try to read it and use your words, okay? I wanna see your writing in your words. Uh, here we put the word, for example, hockey, okay? Now use it, use it in a sentence. We know how to do this and draw it. Finally, draw a picture of the new vocabulary word, okay? That is your classwork. If you have any questions, please tell Miss Lucy, okay? Miss you guys, love you guys, bye.